All right, let's go ahead and take a check of your pinpoint weather. Looking at some Ooh. very wet and dreary skies <laughs> over downtown Monroe. The rain officially arrived after we just couldn't really shake that gloominess today. Yeah, you guys are getting a lot of rain there. Yeah. Let's uh, get a check of that forecast from Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. Tara, we've seen these pop-up storms. Is that mm -hmm. what people in Monroe are dealing with right now? Exactly. One of the few select areas getting some of the heavier yeah. rain. A couple of thunderstorms uh, that are out there right now. So a uh, good chunk of the area, nice and dry, including as we look live here from around the Queens Landing area. Mooresville up around Lake Norman. We do have some clouds, but dry for now. That's not to say that we can get that uh, pop up heavy shower or thunderstorm developing though before the end of the evening because we have a weak cold front on the move. And of course, we're, we're feeling that humidity out there. So it just doesn't take much sometimes to get these downpours to develop and quickly pop up out there. And that's what we do have showing up on radar as we look back. And as we were just looking at downtown Monroe getting some heavier rain, that heavy shower just kind of sitting there as well as up into to some of the mountains and foothills locations here. Alexander County, just to the south of Taylorsville, heavier shower there over Little River, the western part of the county along Highway 64. And we're getting more of those as we jump on down toward the Sand Hills, eastern parts of Chesterfield County. A strong storm actually over Bennettsville to the east of there and northern Richmond County. More heavy rain, some strong storms out that way. And there is that heavy shower right over the heart of Union County in Monroe. Now, as far as the rest of the night goes, again, it's possible that even if you're dry at the moment, you could get that spotty shower developing over your neighborhood. It's possible through about 9, 10, 11 o'clock or so this evening. Then the front tries to push through, but it may not totally clear the area. So that's why we still have lots of clouds. You can see that veil of cloud cover hanging tough even through late tonight and early tomorrow morning. So it won't totally clear out as this front moves through the area. 85 warm degrees out there today. Dew points are nice and muggy. Yeah, no big change there. Right around 70. We've got the relative humidity 61%. Temperatures area wide, low to mid 80s. We've got the cooler spots, of course, higher elevations in the mid 70s in the high country there. So the weak cold front moves in. What we will get tomorrow, bit of a change for not everyone though, but a lot of us will feel some lower humidity for really just kind of one day tomorrow and then the storm chances return later in the week and we get drier too tomorrow and the fact that we won't have any showers or storms really around the area. But through the rest of this evening, that thunderstorm risk continues. Temperature down to 68 early in the morning. It'll be a dry start to the day. Again, mix of clouds and sunshine out there tomorrow with a light north wind. And with that wind shifting out in the north, that will draw in some of that drier air. Temperatures don't cool off a whole lot. We're still talking mid to upper 80s. For those highs. So the front doesn't move very far away, but just far enough to where we tap into some of the drier conditions with high pressure up to the north and west. But the areas where the front kind of hangs out nearby, that's where we're still going to be feeling some of that humidity. Talking about near Wadesboro and Rockingham and down through the upstate. And you can see, as I said, how the clouds kind of hang tough throughout the afternoon here. And then Wednesday, some moisture returns. So by a little bit later in the day, a little bit of spotty rain, maybe a couple of thunderstorms can't be totally ruled out again. Future dew points, you can see how those numbers start to lower through the 50s and lower 60s. Although, as I said, Wadesboro, Rockingham, Chesterfield County, down through Lancaster County, it's still likely going to be on the humid side with that front hanging out nearby. But a lot of us will feel some of that drier air for the day tomorrow. 7 day forecast shows daily shower and storm chances after tomorrow returning temperatures uh, on the warm side and more humidity out there. Once again, mid to upper 80s around 90 on Wednesday.